scenario. This is Chris. We are on the Fountain City Portion Slam team. On August the 3rd, we will be uh, having our showcasing at the Civil War Naval Museum at 6 o'clock p.m. We're basically going to do all of the poems that we're going to be taking to Chi Town on August the 6th through the 10th to perform at Brave New Voices, yeah. poetry, blah, blah, blah. This right here is where we would like to ask you guys if you would please support us. Put a couple of dollars in there, preferably five, ten, twenty, fifty, or one hundred dollar bills. <laughs> but whatever you got, <laughs> and then I'll just pass it off to the pass it around. Thank you very much. <laughs> On the high, not safe out here, a lot of souls just disappeared, and they say bang bang. I live in a city where it's like reverse gentrification. With marijuana and alcohol centralization. Dilapidated homes, branded by double D's on their doors. Like, like a, a Victoria's Victoria Secret model after getting, getting strung out on their horse. I believe it's the sound of the music that influences us. Why do we let it penetrate our minds and ruin us? Shooting us with heroin in the veins. Proving that drugs carry us in the sky like a plane. Sitting coach while I coast over 11 oceans. I might just take this aircraft hostage because I live in a city where it's planned obsolescence. Not a single chance press. To sin is to survive. So not a soul goes to heaven. Yet there's a church on every corner. And the earth is just a border, blocking the thirsty from the water and the hunger from the sustenance. That subsequent acts of violence and neighborhood uprising sprouts from the cracks of the concrete. Because they're newborn children, they got to eat. And when niggas got to eat, eat, that's when shit gets greasy. I live in a city where the majority of everyone is a gangbanger. Dope slang. Half naked car waver. Bell feet in the street racing. Little Africana. Hey, hey mama, mama, ain't there some golden gotta Get on dream chasers. chasers because they are trying to be something they're not. And they're rubbing their hands together like Birdman <laughs> for a the plot. Trying to be hot by committing robberies and burgers or such things that'll get them shot. Or locked up in the steel box where they keep niggas on display like Indian tomahawks in museums. And showing every CNN viewer season. My city is hell. My city has got to the point where no one fights, they shoot, and they watch the blood drip from your body into the ground's roots. Imaging themselves as fake gangsters, and since it's a trick, I call them pranksters because they're because it's a joke to me. No okay. <laughs> 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 <It's a joke. laughs> And it makes me hold my breath like a stroke. You see, my city has no pity when they post pictures of their ex-girlfriend's titties, and at the same time swearing they're sadistic. I laugh like they're kidding, but it's not funny because the reality is not only the city we live in. Baltimore, 196. Houston, 198. <laughs> New Orleans, 208. 208. <laughs> Los Angeles, 297. <laughs> Philadelphia, 324. Detroit, 344. <laughs> Chicago, 431. New York, 515 murders in 2012. I dwell in a city called America. Land of the enslaved and home of the cowardly. Well, the First Amendment empowers me <laughs> to express my condemnation for this condemnation. My skin burns from the fires of from, for, my skin burns from the fires of eternity, and right there is where I can see Satan. Yes, I can see Satan. Lord knows that I can see Satan, and he's staring at me. He's staring at me like I'm faceless, but I have the complexion of sin, and I become reflectionless as I feel him take my soul from within. I don't want to live here anymore. I can't click my heels. I still feel chill bumps growing on me. I don't want to live here anymore. My city is so cold. Yeah!